So uh, you want to start a barbecue pop-up business. That's, that's good for you. It's a great thing to do. It's, it's a lot of fun, um, and it's a lot of work. So I, I'm just going to share a couple of tips and tricks with you that I've learned. Uh, in the past couple months, I've been doing one, and uh, hopefully, you know, I teach you something new. We learn together as, as this channel grows. Uh, have a couple recipe videos coming out, a lot on, lot on YouTube shorts. So uh, make sure to subscribe so you can see those pop up in your notifications. But I just want to get into the first tip I want to give, give you guys if you're starting a pop-up business uh, doing barbecue is uh, if you're in a hot state like uh, Florida or Texas, do not start one in the summer because it's hot. <laughs> You'll be uh, sweating a lot, which you know that's normal. You're, you're around, a, a, you know, a, a barbecue pit, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit spicy outside. Uh, but um, the main reason is um, if you're doing like markets, because uh, which a lot of people are gonna start doing with their pop-up barbecue business. If you're doing markets, um, nobody comes, man. I'll tell you what, uh, people come. It's just you're gonna see a smaller, smaller crowd. Um, just in the past two months, uh, the one market we normally do uh, quite a bit on. Um, we've seen our profit and what we prepare drop by like we're doing like maybe a third a third of what we did so uh, maybe you know if, if you just want to start you know try testing out the waters that might not might been, be too bad um, but uh, yeah don't don't start don't start in the summertime it's it's kind of hot and uh, you're gonna be sweating a lot and if you're sweating and you don't feel like being outside imagine people that want to Go outside and go outside and go shopping. They're not gonna want to be out there in that heat. So uh, that's my, that's my, probably my big 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 first tip there. All right, tip numero dos, dos dos. What is up with that? All right, guys. Tip number two. Um, know your market, right? Know your market. Obviously, it makes sense, but um, maybe what does make sense if you're doing like a farmers market or maybe some place that has you know, like a pop-up shop that they do, or sometimes, you know, coffee places or breweries will do pop-ups, um, those type of things. You want to know your market and how many people are normally there, who you, there's other food vendors, you know, if it's a big market, if it's a small market, because um, you want to be able to prepare accordingly. Yes, it's great to, to overcook and have some leftover brisket that you can turn into other products if you, if you know what you're doing with that. Um, you know, those things are cool because then you maybe have some leftovers, you can eat them. But I'll be honest with you, if you're doing barbecue pop-ups once a week or like every like every month, you know, a couple times a month, you're going to get tired of barbecue real quick. I don't care how much you love it. It's, it's going to get tiring. Make sure you know your market, right? So our very first time we did a pop-up, it was, I think, in March. March, yeah, March. Um, and we didn't know how big the pop-up was, so we prepared like three briskets. We prepared two, three pork butts. Um, I think 15 chicken quarters, like a tray of corn and slaw and everything like that. And, um, halfway through our time serving, we ran out of, uh, side. We were sold out with like in an hour and we didn't have too much left over, which would have been, you know, it's great to sell out. Cause then, Hey, you don't have to hold on to like any excess food, but if the market's for five hours and you sell out in an hour, then you're missing like four hours of, you know, other customers and everything um so, but i mean we're also new so a lot of people were excited to, to see us and come over granted the next month when we did the market um i was like hey you know maybe we should pay attention because um in florida there's this thing called the daytona 500 i don't know if you guys ever heard of it um it's a big thing apparently you know um uh, but i was like hey we're gonna be in the pop-up on the daytona 500 maybe maybe we should you know cut back on what we what we were selling and everything so we did one less extra we did we did one less extra brisket because we didn't expect too many people to be there um we prepared a lot more sides because we know we need we knew we needed more sides and i'll be honest with you the, we went through the whole four or five hours of the market we sold out towards the end um but we knew who we we're selling to and what was happening on around us so granted if it wasn't the daytona 500 you know, we probably were prepared more and had more ready to go. Um, and then, you know, also paying attention to the weather. So you're like, hey, you know, um, I'm going to cook like 10 briskets for this event. But if you look at the weather, you know, that's scheduled for rain the day of the event. So you don't want to be cooking 10 briskets when it's supposed to be pouring down rain during your event because people don't like to go out in hot weather. They don't like to go out in freezing cold weather. They don't like to go out and and the rain and storms and everything like that. So prepare accordingly to your event. Knowing your market is important. So plan accordingly. Tip number three, knowing time management. 
I'll be honest with you, this is probably like my weakest, you know, character flaw and whatever you want to call it. Um, time management. I'm always like, yeah, this will take me like an hour to do. Three hours later, you can ask my wife. She's like, uh, I thought this was going to take you an hour. I'm like, hey, you know, I'm sorry. Um, you want to prepare your stuff beforehand as much as you can. So if you know you're making your homemade pickles, it doesn't hurt to make your pickles a few days in advance, right? Pickles hold for a long time. Technically, depending on what your food law is all, you're going to get seven days from when a product is open or made to sell it or you got to freeze it. Um, but making something like pickles a few days early so you're not doing it the day of. Making your own barbecue sauce a few days early so you're not doing it the day of. Preparing your sides, you know, those types of things. Those are all important things that need to get done. And if you can do those ahead of time, you're going to save yourself a lot of time and a, and a lot of stress because um, when you're doing everything the day of, you're going to be stressed out because you're going to be like, I need to get this done, I need to get that done. And you're going to forget something. Been there, done that. Actually doing that right now. I'm, I'm uh, didn't get a chance to prepare anything this week, and I got a pop up tomorrow. And I'm also making a video on starting a barbecue pop up business. So uh, I gotta make sure you know, I'm doing things according to the time that I have. I gotta make my pickles. I gotta make my barbecue sauce. I gotta do pickled jalapenos and pickled onions. I gotta do uh, homemade banana pudding. Uh, thankfully, the meat. You know, I think that's the easiest part. You know, season everything. Just watch your fire got good fire management you need to come out maybe like every hour to check on the fire um you got a good pit it's going to take you know it's going to hold temps for a pretty decent time uh the sweet spot for my pit is 250 it holds 250 for quite a bit and i have no problem there now when i get to like 225 where i start off i got to watch the pit a lot more than when i'm at 250 or uh, 275 it spikes up around there a lot but time management is important know what you have to get done make a list write it all down Along with your list, don't just, hey, I need to make, you know, banana pudding. Uh, write down the ingredients and stuff you need for the banana pudding. So uh, when you go to the store, you don't forget it. And then you're running back to the store because you forgot something else and you don't have it. Uh, same thing with your pickles, with your barbecue sauce. Make sure you have the things you need for your barbecue. Or else you're going to be spending too much time running around. You're going to be stressed out. You're not going to get any sleep the night before. If you're doing, you know, cooking the day before. Um... You know, prepping those things and having those things ahead of time is quite nice. And knowing what you need to get done and planning out what time you're going to do things. You know, get your food on as early as possible in the morning. You know, then I'm going to go ahead and make my banana pudding. Why? Because, you know, I got to make it from scratch. We ain't using jello packets. So I got to make sure everything sets and sits in the fridge for a little bit. And then I got to mix everything together, make sure that sits for a little bit. So doing banana pudding first is the best option for me. Uh, pickles, super easy. You know, it takes like 10 minutes to do. You know, simple brine. Don't do anything spe special or fancy. Um, barbecue sauce might take a little bit more time because, you know, you got to make sure you're not burning anything. Um, but, you know, sparing those things out. So, um, you know, for like our, our corn salad that we do, we do like a Mexican style street corn. Um, I can prep all that stuff and have it all mixed up and ready to go. So that way it's, it's ready to go. It's in, it's in a... Uh, a bag that we can just stick in our warmer and our, like while we're prepping the next day, get everything ready. It's coming up to temp, ready to go. Good, golden, tastes good. Um, delegate things. So my business partner, he works on Fridays. I have Fridays off. We have an event on Saturday. So I handle most of the cooking on those days. So he'll focus on one of his barbecue sauces that he makes. He focuses on the beans. I think he's going to focus on mac and cheese sometime this time today. But time management is important. So figure out if you can do things ahead of time. Get them done ahead of time. So that way the day of, you're not stressed out um, and freaking out. And you're just in a bad mood because nobody likes to barbecue when you're in a bad mood. Am I right? Tip number four. Make a list. Check it twice. You know, Santa does it. I think we should all do it. But uh, make a list of the things that you're serving, the things that come along with it. Make this list of all the, the, the things that you need, like the condiments, the, the plates, the, the cups to serve, uh, your coolers, your tables, your chairs, whatever it is that you need. Make a list. Write it off. Check it. Keep checking it. Go over and over again because here's the thing. You're going to say, I got it all. I remembered everything. And then you're going to get to an event and you're going to be like, I forgot something. Happens all the time. Trust me. It, <laughs> it happens all the time. Thankfully, now we have like a... A trailer that we use for pop-up events so it's not necessarily like a mobile food vendor trailer 
but it's a trailer we can use at temporary events because it, I don't understand the Florida food laws. It's, it's really weird. But now we're able to keep everything that we need, that we know we're going to need in that trailer. There's a few things outside of it, like utensils that have been washed that, that we need to go put back into the trailer when we, we prep the day uh, of. So today, while I'm cooking, everything's prepared. I'll make sure I go through my rack of everything I have so I can get that into the trailer. But make a list, go through it, double check it. If you're doing this with somebody else, have them check it and make sure everything. So you're not forgetting things because you want to look, you know, super pro, right? You don't want to look like a fool that doesn't know what they're doing um, because you're going to feel like an idiot the whole time. And I'll be honest, there's been plenty of times where I felt like an idiot because we didn't make a list or, or check anything out. We weren't prepared, you know, so make a list, be prepared. And the fifth and final tip, which is probably, you know, the, the most important, and that would be be respectful. Um, I'm not just talking about, you know, being nice and kind. I'm talking about um, if you're going to an event, the, the event organizer, be respectful to them, show up on time. So you're not, you know, rushing. Make sure that you're ready to go when the event starts. Make sure that when the event's done, you're not, you know, just taking your time and, and you know, just sit tearing things down. But be respectful of their time. Be respectful of your customer's time. Be respectful of every other vendor around you's time. Because, hey, you know, if we want to come back to these places, right, we want to have repeat customers. We want to work with vendors that are going to reverse to other vendors so we can get more business, so we can grow. Um, we're going to want people to, to think that, you know, we're great. We're not just some crabby group of barbecue guys that, you know, think our barbecue is the best and have crappy service, right? So be respectful because um, there's too many times where you see vendors come in and they're just not nice to their customers. They're not nice to the, the person that's hosting it or other vendors around them. You want people to, to speak highly of your business and to speak about how professional you are. If you get in line and people are, you know, complaining and everything like that, just apologize and try to give them a little extra food here or there. Um, try to make it up to them. I understand, you know, food costs are, are high for barbecue, but, you know, bad reviews on google or yelp or wherever you don't want those at all you want good reviews you want people to think that you're great you want people to speak highly of you and if you go to an event and you're rude to people if you leave a mess and don't clean up after yourself if you don't you know maybe hook up a few vendors that you become friends with or or try to hook up the the host of the event um you know it it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not going to like you and want your back but it doesn't hurt to, you know butter people up a little bit um, so just try to be respectful, you know, be respectful of their time, of their property and their event. Because if you're not, then I don't care how good your barbecue is. Nobody's going to want you at their events or anything like that. But, uh, Hey guys, you know, that, that's all I have the tips I have for you right now. I'm going to have another video coming out for, uh, you know, equipment that you need, right? Let's get the, Hey, we're starting a barbecue business. What is it that I need to start a barbecue business? Those things are important. So I'm going to have a whole video on that separate from this one. This was a good five tip video. I hope it was a good five tip video. I hope you guys learned something from here, from this video, but, um, look out for that video. Uh, it's going to be a, a whole list of stuff because there was things that we purchased that we thought we needed and then had to repurchase later, um, and purchase other things. And like this didn't work. So we wasted our money on those things. And it's kind of important, uh, to, to know what you need to be prepared and, you know, like look professional because that's what we want. We look professional, everything. So look out for that video. It's coming up, you know, equipment needed to start a barbecue pop-up business. Hey, if you guys found some value in this video or, or learned something or you just appreciate it, I would really appreciate it if you guys gave me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, just double tap the thumbs down button to give it a double hate. You know, I appreciate that too. Um, but if you have any questions or anything like that, leave a comment down below. If not, that's cool. But hey guys, I really appreciate it. So make sure you like and subscribe and check us out for the next one.